Maybe you've installed mods on your World of Warships client. And I'd say most of them are surface ships mods where you have to um, lock onto ships and then all the information is filled out. And maybe you have seen some CV mods as well, but maybe you don't know how to use them or um, you just think that they're a bit too complicated. And that's why I'm here to maybe persuade you into installing those mods, which is going to make your CV gameplay uh, stabilized, you won't die in the middle of nowhere, and you do the right decision. Something very critical for a CV player. We're going to be using this guy's mod pack instead of mod station simply because um, two very important mods that um, I found was only on Aslabs instead of mod station. Okay. So to start with, we're going to be taking a look at this CV telegraph thing. It just removes, kind of removes the tumor that most CV mains have, which is autopilot building us. Meanwhile, why am I not turning? Autopilot mode enabled. Dude, turn. Right! Not left! Right! Oh my god! How can they make an autopilot? It's so dumb and so bad. Autopilots don't reverse! Oh shit! 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 shit. Oh! Oh! Come on, Pugu. So apparently what this mod does is that... Okay. I need to left click on it, right? Um, it basically shows the speed and turning angle of them, even though when we're flying planes. And apparently, um, we can't control our hulls while we're flying, but so that's why we need to rely on autopilot. But it's also the thing that fucks us our positioning up. And if we can kind of just acknowledge these autopilot problems ASAP, it's just great help to prevent us from being sunk um, in stupid positions. And if you're a typical CV main like me, who next. Uh, always ends up in weird positions and gets flapped to our repositioning after being spotted, uh, you should definitely get, get this mod. Of course, this mod, I couldn't find it on mod stations and only on Aslan's. The second mod would be a bit downstairs, and it's also made from the same guy. The CV boy, boy, static indicator. I don't know if you remember Flight the time that aircraft, aircraft crosshairs, crosshairs has also been updated. This change it's will make it more when we got this freaking annoying CV alarm types. that swings around and points at our CV even though like I know where my CV is. What it does is that it just puts the indicator at, at the place of a at like just that spot on the screen. For me, I would take it since it's less annoying and stuff. Yeah, and that's it for these two mods. Um, I would like to give a lot of thanks to Mr. Odo Twipless again because uh, these two mods actually made my gameplay just simply better. And I appreciate it. And, oh yeah, and it's also the reason why I wanted to make this video. Um, where is it? Okay, apparently it should be somewhere down here. Okay, here. The minimap mods, and it's by Autospy. This mod is recommended to me by Pencil. Well, a, a, a typical CV me. Okay, maybe he's a Unicom CV me. Um, anyways, you check... You just check that um, AA gun's firing range, this thing... Uh, yeah, this one. And then... And then you can see the enemy AA range on the mini -map. So maybe if you're flying towards a bunch of ships, you can just find your best path by not taking that much anti-air and um, performing, I mean, just doing your strike as usual. But you take less AA if you just do one or two more glances at the ship instead of just sending planes in recklessly. And by the way, just don't don't do the settings when you're torpedoing. Okay, so now I've gone through the most important mods, but there are still a few which are uh, maybe helpful to you, maybe not. Um, but they'll always come in handy when you're in need of information. 
So let's just, oh my god, you're thick. Okay, preview, and back to Outland's block station. Um, first I would go with, um, it's not, not, not here, but, okay, here, tracer controls. You find this anti-aircraft guns, AA tracer controls, actually, well, I wouldn't recommend it myself, but apparently, I rely on AA tracers, because the AA guns, the, the AA gun tracers, they actually guide um, the flak spawn. And that's why I can kind of predict this flak is wanting over here, so I'm going to turn that way. And th that's how it works for me. And then, you scroll down a bit more. Not this one. Yeah, here. Okay, maybe not that. Um, the fighter assistant. And here, um, the stopwatch. I like to track a uh, damage control party, or maybe fighter, fighter, uh, fighter duration. And also, um, my heal pull down on torpedoes and bombers. Um, so here, I kind of need to, like, if you want to activate it, you need to click the timer once for start or pause, and two times to reset it. I would say this mod is really, really helpful in terms of uh, like calculating comp and stuff. Um, by the way, if you want to edit this, if you want to edit this, you have to open the mini map. You click on the toolbox icon right over here, and you can either set up um, the duration and uh, like the size of the stopwatch. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Detailed damage meter. It's just kind of you might need it in, in comp like clan battles on to keep track of ships uh, like you dealt damage to the ship but you don't have spawning them so you want to check how much damage you dealt to it and here you go this is what you might need and next is the well of course these are rather not that important score timer um, dog tag remover improved chat and there is something that I would uh, I would recommend you to do, and that is, uh, where is it? Okay, I finally found it. It's the camouflage remover. Um, I honestly don't want, I just don't mean to strip don't, don't your favorite ship through your life or what, then what but the fuck? sometimes some camos are just distracting, and it blends their hole with the ocean. I still like cool camos, or like, for example, like sci-fi, spring sky, but I would rather just make the ships look a bit more historically accurate when I'm playing COP, so I don't make mistakes that much. And I think that's all the mods that I would like to introduce for this video. Um, I hope it helped you. Of course, if you find any different mods out there that you find really interesting, please let me know. And um, yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next.